What a great angle. Hey everybody, welcome to another part of Let's Play. Bonk. SpongeBob SquareCats be a battle for Bikini Bottom. In this part, you can pick up and throw your tinkies. We'll explore the beginnings of Patrick. Patrick, stop. So you can throw stuff. Uh, the bus stuff, you can. S this is what you'll use. Okay, you can also throw food. But this is what you'll basically use when you want to switch characters. So you go press R, you're SpongeBob. Press R. There's Patrick. So. That's how it will work, basically. So now here, you have to. You can't climb. So you have to throw it up. And then go get it again. And throw it. However, um, the fruit will wither over a certain period of time. So there is a limit. You have to go fast enough. Because if you don't go fast enough, well, then you're just screwed. Uh, here you get the. Um, thrower thing, which is not used a lot, weirdly. It would seem to be used a little bit more, but it's how to used. It's used, um, now and then. One area, it's used twice. And that's probably the most you see of it, is twice in one area. So. Now we get the introduces of Thunder Tiki's. Which have a lightning bolt on them. So, it really never made sense why they have a lightning bolt on a Thunder. But if you touch it, you give it five seconds, and then kaboom! I think five. It's close to five. And then you got this bunch of... You can throw them, obviously. So you can throw this one at this. And then if they hit anything, they'll automatically explode. So there's no, like, wait anymore after it explodes. So it won't just hit the thing, and then bounce off, and then explode. You hit that, you'll go back to the start. You can go back to that little area up there. Can the camera go right? Nope. There. Over there. You just go back there. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! We're not even close to running into him. The rock is talking to me. Almighty rock, I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday. And now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's probably one of my favorite conversations in the game. But uh, I like whoever did um, uh, Plankton's lines and whoever did Patrick's lines. Uh, yeah, so you just go, thanks. I love whoever did those two, who wrote those two scripts, and you can see right there the interactions <laughs> between the two, and how Plankton words everything, just in a certain way. I like it. Anyways, the cave is opened up. We can go inside. And there's random fire. That's never really explained why there's random fire in this place. And I don't think it really needs to be explained. Because no one really ever asks why. Except me. Who asked why. They can easily use, use the tikis. Or use... Use the throw watermelons here. To get these things and jigs over here. You can use the other crates before there. I don't know. I just felt like, I felt like I was in the mood for destroying crates. I'll call them crates. Even though they are tikis, I'll call them crates more than one time in this let's play. I'm sorry if that like bore noise the heck out of you, but I will call them crates by accident. Because uh, there's not really different between tikis and crates. I love that line too. Uh, why why is I mean the health system is not anyone else's underwear? It's it will always be SpongeBob's for some reason. Even when we got another character, not gonna spoil who. But this, they'll still wear the underpants of Spongebob. It's always Spongebob's underpants. It's a tad weird that you're wearing someone else's underpants. I always do. And also the whistle there is a nice touch. So now this one gets to get it all the way across. And that pissed. So you gotta throw from... You can either throw it on that rock. I'm gonna quickly kill these guys over here just because I can. Well, okay. So what's even the point of bringing that, bring that over here? 
Looking for the reason of why I should bring over here. I find none, so I'm gonna move on. So I'm forced to go back to that. I don't see us. I don't remember sock being around here, around in that area. So I don't know, there's no point. Should be a sock coming up here sooner or later. Kicking my eyes open. A sock, a, a sock is definitely coming up around you sooner or later. Uh, there is a lot of socks in this jellyfish field. This is the most jellyfish fields have the most socks in the whole entire game. This one area. So, they definitely went sock heavy in this first area. I don't know why, maybe it felt like, oof, this is how everything should be. But, eh, just how it rolled. Where's that? I know there's still socks somewhere in this cave. Come on out here. Was that? No, this is probably light. Yeah, it's light. Light! Ah, uh, the socks will glow, so. The fanfare was a nice touch. Random fanfare. So then I can. Thank you, science, for completely destroying my fruit for some reason. Uh, you can throw fruit and then stack on top of it. You know, kind of like a kind of a one, two step platform here. So I can jump, 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 and up here. Throw this. Throw in such an area where it lands on top of it. It'll aim for you. And on top. Now you gotta go up to two here. Throw this one deep. Grab the other one. Aim for this one. Grab it. And jump, jump, and then jump, jump. Now we have another slide. I could have sworn there was a one. It's gonna bother me now. I could have sworn I missed a sock. That's it. Could sworn that was a sock. That's not. That's just playing tricks on me now. Great. Thank you, eyes. I say I am not gonna not gonna start with the eye punch. Uh, Thunder Tiki Z hit him. He'll take damage. So, and he basically killed myself there. Wow. Basil Pyrian was so pissed. No problem. Sworn there was a sock in there. Was, if I remember, there's a sock in there. I'll go after it. Anyways, Freezy Fruit. Uh, this was talked about in the first area, the Jellyfish Fields. With that, and you can go over here and grab a sock. This is not, there's, I knew the sock, this is something different than the sock. It's gonna annoy me now. Uh, it's gonna it's totally annoy me. A belly flop near robots, you can stun them. There's supposed to be robots here, but sadly they're not here yet, so. We're not even gonna pull them, show that thing off. You can throw fruits at robots to make them explode. Like that. Yeah. That was good. And then you can throw and stun other robots, and that's how you hit this one button here. Which is probably one of the few times you're doing this game, but hey. Why not? If you're gonna give it once, at least get it. Now I'm going to stand in front of this rope to make more robots, and I'll destroy them later. <sighs> Loading times. Uh, there's a purple one down there. Well, I'm going to have really nothing to do with gold, but back down there to get it, because I was too lazy to get it the first time. And I could have sworn there's a sock in this cave. Ah, that's going to bug me now. That's going to bug me for the rest of the day. If I finish this area, I'm two, three socks, socks short. I know why. Well, two because you can't, you can't get two now. You gotta wait until you come back. So if I'm three socks short, I know that there's one in this cave. I hate that feeling. Where you? Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. And anyways, so we're on to the next area. That's really tactical, because I don't know why they have a random three stacks of tiggies. And then we have to introduce uh, enemy cutscenes. We'll get a lot of them throughout the game. And it's a little cutscene just like telling what the heck the character does, the enemy does. I like them. Tar tar sauce, and I'll see old fashioned blow on the top of the gun. So that really does anything, particularly. So, anyways, these guys take two hits to attack, too. They don't really show that, but you kind of go, Oh, I'm attacked this dude, and it didn't work. So, obviously, this guy takes two hits. Can't figure that out. Uh, that's really the only thing interesting about enemy that take two hits, and they also have a long range attack. So, if you're not careful, they will be easily attack you. You catch them off guard. But remember, let's go boom. And we're here. 
basically. So we can talk to Mrs. Puff here. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. What? If you robots. can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome. What to robots? It. I don't see any robots in the lake. Showed up, Mrs. Puff. I mean, if they throw in the lake, shouldn't they still be there? I know they will be spawned. They will spawn, but that's just weird. Anyways, this is basically you'll get a bunch of robots flung at you and you have to destroy each of those five. You kind of see those five thing with jigs around? These, these things? You gotta throw a robot into them. Destroy them. So, it shouldn't be that hard. Just basically stun and kill. Stun and destroy. Oh, okay. I've got this one over here. This one. And there are also a nice little point total here, so. So, if you're really looking for some quick, shiny, shiny. It's an expanding enemies, so. Which happens a lot. Always kind of annoys me out in the game. But in this in this sense, it's kind of needed. So, last one. And this somehow drains the lake. Well, not completely drains it, but somewhat drains it. Voila! Golden special. And we have this one really annoying hammer bot and dead. You go that way, that's kind of a shortcut. And that way is kind of a shortcut. I mean, there's pathways, not really shortcuts. Like alternate routes, but I think that's why I would call them alternate routes, 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 routes. And always eighth going special. We're eight percent done. We're almost done. So I back. Mrs. Puff, and she'll say something randomly along the lines of, "Oh, thank you for doing it. You did a good job." Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> Did I get a cookie? No. But I want a cookie! Uh, anyways, 